Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Sunset Harbor DLC. My name is Sports Monkey, and we're back in the awesome, awesome city of Portsmouth Abbey. And as you can tell, we're going through a little cinematic preview of what is going on in our city. So let me zoom out or hit that escape button real quick. And just real quick, we did add this lovely inner city bus hub. We have at least 435 people using it, and it's turned out excellent. And now for today, uh, I did want to show you guys one more thing. I did add a little part of this neighborhood. I did expand this a little, little bit. And I did add a couple mods. And this is a baseball field mod, which attracts people tourists and visitors and then i also added a children and dog park so far not attracting anybody but anyways for today i wanted to get into how to build trams now this is going to be a little bit different i know i just added this bus hub but i wanted to add pre like i wanted to make this a little hub area and expand it so the very first step in creating a hub or a hub excuse me trams is you need a tram depot well, let's let's go to the transportation part of our city and we can click on the tram. So this see this one or it's considered a trolley bus. Now, you do need to create a trolley bus road first in order to actually create the tram line. So, I created so I used the street that has the power lines for the trolley cars or trams so you have to do that first because watch now you need to connect the tram depot now let's see if we can add it over here okay as you can tell i just added the trolley depot so it is a pretty big i would say it's a pretty big building but as you can tell it is connected to the road so now we are basically able to connect trolley cars anywhere on the map that has the the trolley roads now as you can tell there are power lines over the roads so you have to make sure you're using the trolley car roads all right just making sure all right so what we want to do is the, now we can go into the four lane road and expand it into our city we are going to need to upgrade roads as we keep going down the street like down to here this would be awesome now i i think if i can yes and it will connect to over here so i do want to do want to bring it over bring the trolleys over here now this is a one-way road i believe we can do a one-way trolley road let me see yep as we can so let's upgrade this and i'll i'll bring this right to the front door of our of our inner city bus hub and look at that it connects perfectly so now let's go down the street with it so let's go back to over here and we're going to keep up upgrading these roads so now remember the largest trolley road you can get is technically a four lane highway instead of the six so technically you can go only as large as a medium sized road so as i'm interrupting the middle of your broadcast i do want to go back to a part of the city that i didn't actually get to originally so that's why i'm using the lovely edit button so what i want to do is in this city part of the city center of the town that we made a couple episodes ago i actually wanted to add in the trams, the tram lines. So what we need to do is real quick, we do need to go to those medium lines and grab the electrical lines and make sure it's on, we're upgrading the road. So upgrade it over here. Now, as we did already near our hub, we can put make these one-way roads. So these are all gonna be trolley roads. So since I'm on the, the one-way trolley roads, I'm actually also gonna upgrade over here. Now, what I do not need to do real quick is to grab those medium roads and upgrade these roads. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little complicated. No, not actually not really. We're not going to make it compl complicated at all. So we're going to go to our trolley lines. And as you can see that our trolley lines are orange. The blue is the bus line. So what we're going to do is there's two trolley lines. There's one obviously going north. We'll, we'll call it north one going north and then the other is going south so what we're going to do is we're going to the north side the north is going to be over here 
and then our southern our southern line is going to go from over here and it's going to go right there so we're going to have so you can this will be a mini hub i guess not really a mini hub but if you want to take the trolley to the other side of town you go left you go over here to this station or the stop if you want to go towards our bus hub you go you use this one you use the one that is to the right so this way gives our citizens more options on using the tro trolley line and actually using the bus line so i just wanted to add that in sorry for interjecting and i will <laughs> i will let you guys continue the video thank you very much for, for letting me interrupt so look how awesome so as you can tell the roads are updating themselves as we go and I do want to bring this into our city center, or not our city center, but into our main town that we built earlier. And this is requiring, this is a lot of fun. So while I'm upgrading all these rows, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We've had a tremendous amount of support since I've started building on a PC and I just appreciate everybody watching my videos and you know I I do truly appreciate it so please make sure you like subscribe and comment and you know we'll keep the ball rolling and we'll keep adding more subs and we'll keep getting popular and we'll start growing and we're at 242 subs right now guys so you got I do appreciate you guys watching and subbing and liking and everything else in between so as I keep upgrading roads, this is actually turning out really well. So now the only issue I see here is where do I turn where do I turn the trolleys around? Because I'm not going to make this a full circuit. So the problem is is over here is a major road. I think I could do that this over here. So what I'm going to do is grab a small road and just kind of so what I'm basically saying is you need a place where the trolleys can actually legitimately turn around. I know that sounds weird, but you need a place for them to turn around. So I'm gonna try to make a little square over here so that they can turn around. Now, can I make this a one way? Does that work? Does it follow? Yes, it does, but the problem is, but yeah, we want them to turn around, so that should be okay. Hopefully, hopefully it works out okay. So this little turnaround, I might need it to be a little bit bigger. Hold on, let's, let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger. Sorry, Mr. Building. Let's see. And it won't let me do it. Anyways, let's just, all right, we'll keep it like that. So the next thing we have to do, so basically our trolley line is going from here to all the way back over here okay so now the thing is is we need to build trolley lines so basically remember on the bus routes how we created the bus route lines we need to do the same thing but with the trolley cars so we'll go back to that transportation area and we'll grab a trolley bus line and we'll put one right in front of our hub which is an excellent place to put it then we will put one a stop right there stop right there and we're just gonna hug this whole street that we put trolley lines so we're just hugging it the whole way through now remember we have to follow the trolley line so you can see that there is a orange little it's yeah it's I would say it's orange and an orange highlighted road and that is every place that you have electrical trolley lines so let's see we will can we yep and this will definitely we're definitely able to turn around at that's at, at our little stop so we'll keep adding stops along the way on the way back very cool this is actually this is okay so a lot, i've noticed a lot of youtubers use trams and this is probably the first time i've really 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 used trams like if you go back, I don't remember using trams honestly. So if you guys go back to my later earlier videos, let me know if I used trams before. I really don't remember. And then we will connect it up to there. So now that we're done with the trams, let's just see them come out. 
So let's see trams. And here they are. There's tram number one. Distance traveled online, 96%. I believe you've only gone 10 feet. But here are tram lines. Now they should be making an immediate left when they get out of here. They should be going up here and then to the hub. To the inner city hub. Let's see it. Do, 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 do. Yep. And it should be going left or straight and then left up that hill. So as you can tell that they're only in the right lane. So uh, if they do stop, the left lane traffic will definitely be okay to pass through. There you go. And do we have any people waiting for the tram? Let's see. 13 people. All right. See, that's pretty perfect. Now, I know that this might create some congestion. These trams will not be stacked up one by one by one the whole entire time. Once, once the trams get going, they will spread themselves out. So that is going to work pretty perfect. And now, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But that is basically how you create a tram line. And just, I think the main goal is to make sure that you have the tram roads correctly in correctly in your town. So, you know, you can't, you can't weave the trams in and out of every single neighborhood you have. Like, we just kept them on the outside, and it worked out really well. And then, also, I think the second thing to remember is, don't forget to create like a little turnaround so that the trams are actually able to turn around and what i'm actually going to do is i might eventually build a stop there but i am going to add some trees there let's see what kind of trees do we have over there nope we don't have those there you go beautiful so we just added just a little bit of detailing so the people living in the residential don't have to deal with uh, looking at the trams. Anyways, um, that is going to be our video for today. I know it was nothing crazy, but I noticed a lot of people were creating tram networks. And I just wanted to hop on board and show you guys exactly what to do with the trams. And, you know, I you know this was also a learning experience for myself. I mean, I knew how to do it. I just have never really built trams. So thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a great rest of your day.